Hey everyone, I wanted to put together a quick build video earlier in the season so other people can hopefully take advantage of it. Um, this is probably my favorite build so far. I'm not sure that I'll tweak too much, but uh, let's go ahead and jump in. It's going to be a Void Walker bottom tree. So this is the Devour build. So Devour kills with this melee ability, fully regenerates your health for a short time afterward. Kills, restore additional health. Feed the Void, consume your grenade energy to regenerate your health. Grants the Devour effect. Insatiable, while the Devour effect is active, killing enemies extends its duration and recharges your grenade. And then you have a Super Vortex Nova Bomb, creates a Singularity uh, damage over time, also grants Devour effect. And then I'm running Vortex Grenades because they'll sit there and burn down enemies that aren't super mobile. Very helpful. Uh, you can use whichever jump you want. I like Strafe Glide because it gives you control in the air up to you for whatever preference. And I'm using Healing Rift for survivability. Uh, the Kinetic slot I basically just use for whatever exotic I want to run at the time. Right here I have Wither Horde, which you could run, Arbalest, Izanagi's Burden, Bastion. Um, I have these two exotic pulse rifles for using the Unstoppable Burst mod on arms, just in case I want to run those, but not necessary. pick whichever one you want. You'll want Gnawing Hunger. It's a void auto rifle with a good amount of range that can roll Demolitionist. Demolitionist is a really helpful perk for this. Kills with this weapon generate grenade energy. Um, activating your grenade also refills the mag. And then I'm running um, Drop Mag for quicker reloads, uh, Stability Masterwork, and a barrel that helps reduce um, recoil. And then also has anti-barrier rounds. The second thing you want is Falling Guillotine Sword with Relentless Strikes and Whirlwind Blade. These two perks go really, really well together. Um, Relentless Strikes give you ammo as you hit things with your Light Attack, um, and Whirlwind Blade increases damage as you hit consecutive with Light Attacks. Uh, I got Swordmaster's Guard, which increases charge rate, and then I got three edges that I really like. One, less damage but more ammo. The second one, just straight damage, and then the third one, less ammo, more damage. Um, I'm running a boss spec because it's my main boss DPS weapon. For the artifact, you want anti-barrier rounds. I'm running the Unstoppable Arms mod. Overload nades is helpful for overloads. Breach Resonator helps, um, again, more grenade and melee abilities. And then Oppressive Darkness basically turns your grenade into a mini hunter tether. The main exotic armor piece you're going to want is Nazarak Sin. Void damage kills increase ability recharge rate, ability energy recharge rate. Then I've got the sword ammo finder mods here and uh, discipline mod. So this works really well with both gnawing hunger as void and the sword, which is void. And then I have lucent blade while charged with light dealing damage to the sword gives you bonus sword damage for five seconds and consumes a stack of charge with light. And it greatly increases the rate of your equipped swords charge rate when you have another arc mod slotted, which is why I'm using impact induction. And then I have unstoppable pulse rifle, just in case I want to use one of the exotic pulse rifles. On chest piece, I'm running taking charge. So picking up an orb of light makes me charge with light. And then I have uh, sword reserves, um, overload nades, and a discipline mod. And then seven serif boots. For this, I'm running supercharged uh, you can have two additional stacks of light, and then I'm running double enhanced sword scavenger and a discipline mod. You can also, instead of this one, run global reach, um, where you can generate war mine cells. And if you wanted to use seventh seraph sidearm, that can proc war mine cells. Error puts together a nice build with that, so that's an option. And then on the dreambane bond, I have protective light. While charged with light, you gain significant damage resistance when your shields are broken. Very helpful for survivability. It does take all your stacks of charge with light, though. Um, and then I'm running Oppressive Darkness for that uh, debuff. And then Boss Resist, because a lot of the times I'm using my sword in the face of a boss and getting stomped. So that damage reduction helps. All right, so here's the here's a quick example of what you can do with the build. You consume your grenade, this prox devour. Get one kill. Get two kills. Get three kills, and my grenade's already back. You can chuck your grenade, kill one person, kill another person, grenade's back already. 
Like, that's super, super quick. And this is giving a 30% debuff to whatever you're throwing as well. Grenade's back. Two kills, one with grenade. Alright, so now I'm charged with light because I picked up an orb with light. Now watch this over. He is at full health. And he insta-dies. Now there's a couple of things here. One, um, I'm going back to get another stack of charged with light so that I can proc the loosened blade. So I'm charged with light here again. Run back. Full health again. One heavy attack. And he dies. Now there's this weird thing with sword heavy attacks. It, like, after you use it, it seems to still have a, a damage thing around you so you can do stuff like that. It's really weird. It seems to work on every sword. Uh, maybe they'll patch it. Maybe they won't. But until then, it's a ton of DPS. Um, and you can just kind of slash through stuff. So the rest of this vid is just going to be a view of the contact public event. So hopefully you enjoy, and I'll do a little bit of a commentary for that as well. I was trying to find a solo instance, um, but was able to find one with just one little blueberry guy. So I decided to just go with it. Again, I'm running Wither Horde here. You can run whatever exotic you want. I don't use it that much in this video. I proc Devour, shoot down these three adds, and get my grenade back. Toss it. Get three more kills, get my grenade back. Because this is anti-barrier, you can actually just shoot through the legionary shields. Um, it's a nice perk. <laughs> my one little blueberry friend over there killing the ad that <laughs> ventured into the canyon. Alright, to take this uh, event heroic, you want to go over to these beams of light. There will be generally two of uh, these centurions and then a champion. If you're a lower light level, you probably want to run an unstoppable something to uh, stop this guy. Um, if you're high enough light level, you can just chop him up with a sword and it's not a big deal. Then you grab the bloom and you take it back. You can actually bloom dupe in this. Uh, you walk up to the bank, you hit E, and then before that animation, that circle animation finishes, switch weapons, and you'll finish the dunk but drop the bloom, and then you can pick it up again. It counts for five modes each time, so it makes it a little quicker going through the mode gathering phase. All right, right here I proc devour again, start killing the adds. At this point I'm like, you know what, I'll just blow some sword ammo. You just jump around. This is that's an overload champion that just got one shot by the sword heavy attack. Kill the last couple guys. Pick up the bloom again. All right, orb dupe one, orb dupe two. My little blueberry's here to say hello. Orb dupe three and. Four. Four, and that fills up the bank the second time, just in time because the orb disappeared. And then reproc devour again to take out the next wave of fallen or taken. Again, another unstoppable champion. Um, just kind of gets shredded by the sword. Alright, so now I have to go get another Bloom after clearing these last couple taken. I decided to use a Nova Bomb here, because why not? I wouldn't recommend using it at that point. Uh, that was kind of a waste. Then again, just chop up the Unstoppable. Grab the Bloom. Run it back. And start the dupe process again. Hey, a second blueberry joined. Now I drop a rift here just for the survivability. Um, this was actually helpful having the little blueberries running around killing the people behind me. One of them died but the other one stayed alive and I think is taking some of the fire. Alright, reproc devour again because I was close to dying. Take out that guy. And then just start chopping up the, the taken again. Like I said, the sword 
shreds. That was a that was a really nice shot by that blueberry. Took out all three of them. All right, and then finish bloom duping until the uh, bloom expires. You'll see it counting down. It's at four, three, two, and disappears. All right, now I go grab the last bloom. Reproc devour before I go in here. Grab the bloom. And finish duping. And then you'll see me walk around the side because I start getting shot by more stuff. Final one in. Drop a rift. Proc devour. And then just make sure I kill a lot of these guys. Then use a Nova Bomb to start the damage. Uh, if you haven't done Heroic before, basically you have to do a third damage and then a Blight will spawn. So you can see uh, Keened, that's the Lucent Blade. The Keen thing on the left side that uh, that's a Lucent Blade rocking and giving me increased sword damage because of charge with Blight. So we did a third damage, now we have to come over to this Blight and kill the Blight. Once we kill the Blight, uh, the boss's shield will go down. Unfortunately, I couldn't hit it with a sword. I wanted to see if I could. Alright, now we head back. Damage the boss more. Um, here, I should have thrown that grenade at the boss <laughs> to, to get the oppressive darkness procced. I did not, so I'm just chopping off. And then some of the blueberries are also shooting rockets at him, which helped. But you can see, like, his, his health goes down really quickly. Um, and then we did another third damage, so his shield comes back up and we have to kill another blight. For whatever reason, this blight I was able to hit with my sword. Alright, going in for final third of damage. Kill a couple more just to get my grenade so I can proc devour. Toss a Nova Bomb. And finish him off with a heavy. Overall, not bad. Um, had a little bit of help from from some of the little people around. Looks like we had a total of uh, four people in the public event. So, I mean, it's definitely doable. Uh, a higher light level helps a lot. But, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you found it interesting. Thanks.